皆さん、こんにちは。ハロー、アイアムヒトシ。Thank you for always coming to my channel, my page. Today's topic is examples of permission and refusal when using a residence as a business office. Actually, I have seen many cases of rejection where other lawyers handled or the applicants applied for by themselves due to lack of understanding the definition of office. Immigration office opens some example cases of approval and rejection about office. So today I will share the approval cases with you with my comment. As for refusal cases, I will share them in the next video. Okay, let's check. Approval case 1. Mr. A applied for a status change for a business manager visa. He wanted to run a privately owned restaurant in Japan. Although the purpose of use on the lease agreement was residence, he made a special agreement with the landlord allowing the property to be used as a company office. Immigration office recognized that he secured his place of business. My comment. This case shows that even if the property is for residential use, as long as you can get agreement with or consent from the owner about office use, you can use it as your office. Approval case 2. Mr. B applied for a certificate of eligibility for a business manager visa. He stated that he would run the import, export, and processing sales of marine products in Japan. The head office was the home of an executive officer, but his company's branch office was in a property that he rented from the local chamber of commerce. Immigration office recognized that he secured his place of business. My comment. This case shows that even if the head office on the registry is in one's house, as long as you can prepare another place as your office, immigration office recognizes that you secure your place of business. Approval case 3. Mr. C established a joint stock company in Japan and applied for a certificate of eligibility for a business manager visa. He set his company address in his personal address in the same building house. However, the entrance to the company office and the residence were separate and he installed a sign indicating the company name at the office entrance. In addition, there were a computer, telephone, desk, copy machine and other office equipment in the office section. Immigration office confirmed that a business was actually running and recognized that he secured his place of business. My comment. This case shows that even if the office is in the same address of one's house, as long as you can use the office part, office section independently, immigration office 
recognizes that you secure your place of business. Actually, this case is very similar to my client's case. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mata de. Thank you.